Hey what's up YouTube, this is 17 Chris Jenkins here, and I'm finally back with another Pokemon Battle video. Not Pokemon Showdown, but actual Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and X and Y. So my buddy Tanner, um, if you guys remember a while back we battled, and it turned out really good. Um, he challenged me to another battle just recently, and so I finally traded over most of my battling Pokemon to Oros, and so finally we had an Omega Ruby battle. Um, this is really just a fun friend battle. I just love friend battles because you never know what they're going to bring and they never know what you're going to bring. And it comes up with some cr pretty crazy strategies and i got to give it to Tanner because he came up with some creative stuff. So as you can see, his team is Sylveon, Espeon, Nidoqueen, Mega Gallade, Crustal, and Gudra. Definitely a very good team. Um, definitely good type coverage and definitely good setup. I mean, Crustle's obvious Shell Smash, Gudra's Assault Fest, Mega Gallade's good, Nidoqueen's more setup than anything. Espeon actually plays a setup role in this, and Sylveon is a bit unexpected. And you see on my team, I have Dragalge, Yanmega, Excadrill, Alomomola, Galvantula, and Cacturn. Um, all these Pokemon are recently raised. Um, most of them are recently raised. I just recently raised Cacturn, Alomomola, and Yanmega, and Dragalge. Um, Galvantula and Excadrill are actually from X and Y, and so I just traded them over. I do have nicknames for them, so I'll probably be referring to them by their nicknames in the video. But, yeah, um... I do want to kind of go over, as I'm battling, kind of what their strategies are. But I'll go ahead and tell you, the MVP of this battle is Aloma Mola. She just shines in this battle. Um, I nicknamed her Mittens because her her like fins look like Mittens. And so I named her that. Shredder the Excadrill. Um, Needler the Cacturn after the weapon in Halo. And Kumonga the Galvantula, based after the Godzilla monster, the giant spider. I could not come up with a really creative name for Yanmega or Dragalge. Um, so they're just Dragal Genie and Mega for this. But yeah, it's a really great battle, and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Pretty unexpected stuff, but yeah, let's go ahead and get the battle started. Alright, so Tanner starts. Oh, yeah, alright, okay, I start with Kumonga because I'm trying to set up Sticky Web to set up my whole strategy. I'm basic things to outspeed. I'm expecting him to just use Stealth Rocks or Toxic Spikes, but then he switches out, and I stupidly set up Sticky Web on his Magic Bounce Espeon. I just drew a blank. I forgot he had Espeon on his team, and I just completely just wrecked my own team. So I have to switch out because I'm Choice Scarf because someone else was using the Focus Ash in this match. Um, so I switch out to my Excadrill because he knows Rapid Spin, and of course the Speed Drop happens. I'm just trying to get Rapid Spin up, and Mulberg is great. But this Espeon actually is not an offensive one. It is completely defensive. So, so far, it knows Reflect. Um, I use Rapid Spin to finally get rid of the Sticky Web. He switches out into his Crustal. Um, this gives me a chance to actually use Rapid Spin safely, but of course, it's not going to do anything because Reflect is up and it's a Rock type. Now, of course, I am expecting um, Shell Smash because if you're using Crustal, pretty much unless it's set up for Stealth Rocks or stuff, it's going to be Shell Smash. And it works very well with it as long with, along with other Pokemon like Cloyster, Caracosta, and Barbarical. Um, but he goes and sets up that, and he actually has a white herb. I was expecting a focus sash, but I go ahead and use Iron Head, expecting a good chunk of damage. It barely does half, and so I'm expecting at least maybe to possibly live Earthquake because it is max HP. But there ain't no way, and it's a crit. And I really, I really wonder if that had mattered because Shredder did have max health. But needless to say, now I love Needler because look at this. Of course, X Scissor because it's a Bug Dark type. But I love this egg move that he gets from Breloom. Counter. I love it. Because it just wrecks people so hard. Um, so I do and go do counter because he has the focus sash. I live and just counter. And so here comes a Sylvia. Now this is actually a really interesting strategy. I go and use Spiky Shield just trying to get some PP wastage wasted on his um, Sylveon. But it actually knows Quick Attack. And it does have Pixelate. He told me it has the Pixie Plate. So I'm trying to use Sucker Punch, but sadly it is faster, and that runs me with Quick Attack. And so, yeah, it goes down. Crit was not needed. It was not needed at all. But yeah, so Cacturn goes down. So, yeah, Kumonga. I come back out, because I'm expecting him to switch again, so I, I stay in and use Bug Buzz. It does nothing. And this thing knows Last Resort. And because it's 140 power, Pixelate busted, and... This is Galvantula's poor defense. Kumonga goes down. Finally, Reflect wears off. So now I switch up to Drag Algae, trying to get some poison damage. This is an adaptability Assault Vest Drag Algae, by the way. 
smartly he switches into Needy Queen. I did not expect it, and so I still use Sludge Wave. And of course, because Needy Queen is super bulky, it ain't gonna do jack diddly squat. So she goes ahead and takes this opportunity to use Stealth Rocks, which is actually really good for Needy Queen in my opinion. This is a really good Needy Queen. Thankfully, Dragalge has Hydro Pump, and I drop a huge hit on her. I was not expecting it to do that much to a Nita Queen. Um, does have the Citrus Berry, very good. I would say also Black Sludge would probably work, but this thing goes Super Fang. Thankfully, it misses. I hit another Hydro Pump, and Nita Queen goes down. So he did set up Stealth Rocks, and that's bad for my team, especially Yan Mega. That will definitely come back to bite me later. So, sends back out Espeon. And this thing is going to use light screen. Um, I'm trying to get Matt, I'm just trying to get as much damage as possible off. So I drop a Draco Meteor because an adaptability Draco Meteor is just insane. Because this thing is modest and it's going to do huge amounts of damage to something. It only does half because of light screen. I hated that. And so I'm sitting there. I know he's going to use Psychic or something, and I'm sitting there hoping for a crit. Thankfully, I do live through the Psychic because of the Assault Vest. I'm just hoping for a crit. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to last against this thing unless I get a crit. So I get a crit! <laughs> and I was like, yes! Um, that crit mattered. Because I had to take the Espeon down because it would have just set, kept setting up the light screen and reflect and all that good stuff. So out comes Gudra. This thing is a Soul Vested just like your Algae. But it's obviously faster. And I'm at such low health that Dragon Pulse is just going to take me out. And I hated that because I really wanted Dragalge to do work. And she really did. She, she shined in this battle. Take your Espeon. So I switch out to Mittens, the Alomomola, my second to last Pokemon. Now I do take some Stealth Rock damage. I'm expecting a Dragon Pulse or a Thunderbolt. So I use Protect, and he goes for Dragon Tail trying to switch me out. I was like, oh, okay. That was actually a really good strategy. But um, yeah, I restored some leftovers health. I'm just trying. Now I actually, I thought this was clever. He's going to switch out to Gallade. And I really was like, this is genius. I'm a genius. I'm going to use Wish. And because of Stealth Art damage, Yen Mega is going to have half health. So I'm going to use Wish and set up Yen Mega to wreck the field, get a speed boost, and kill Gallade. And I'm like, I'm I'm just a genius. I'm so smart. And I'm expecting this to work. So this thing takes half damage from Stealth Rocks. Obviously, Bug Flying type just cripples it because it's a great Pokemon. Other than that, Stealth Rock damage, man. Um, so Gallade Mega Evolves and goes for Swords Dance. Great move on this thing. It's just so powerful, and it's already got monstrous attack. Um, so Yen Mega gets healed by the Wish. Now, I did not see a speed boost here, so I was like, what in the world? So I get knocked off because Gallade outruns me, and I found out later that if you switch out to Yen Mega, not on a turn, but like it has to stay out for a turn before it actually works. Um, speed boost won't work. So I take a huge hit from Drain Punch. Um, I try, I'm try. i trying to get burn on this thing. And it actually works the first time. This Aloma Molinos Protect, Wish, Scald, and Refresh in case other stallers trying to stall me out. But I take a huge hit. But this cripples it, thankfully. And so, thankfully he switches. I probably would have been able to survive another Drain Punch um, because of his burn. Um, so I go ahead and take this opportunity to heal up with Wish because I need it, especially with Gudra being a special attacker. Because that's th I've, I learned real quick, Aloma Mola's main weakness is a special defense. Um, I was originally going to run Mirror Code on this, but I did some calcs and stuff like Starmie still killed it with like Thunderbolt and stuff. And I was just I, I ain't investing in special defense if it's just going to die. So this thing's mainly meant to be a just defensive physical wall. You know, it's a bold nature with max HP and defense, and Mittens is busted. And so I, I scare Gudra out. Um, I believe I got the burn on it then. I was kind of distracted talking. But yeah, set up another wish because I'm expecting a huge hit. I'm just trying to stay max health as long as I can. He goes ahead and uses Quick Attack because he kind of has to so he can start using Last Resort. Um, I would personally run Protect Last Resort, but that's just me. I get the burn again the first time on Scald. I love it, man. I got such burn hacks in this game. Um, but yeah. I think this is the time where it's time to just speed up the video because the hacks get real here.
be the battle, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know there was a number of different things that would have changed the outcome of this battle. For one, me actually playing Yan Mega like he's supposed to be played. I hated that I just killed him off. I did not use him in the right way because I, I didn't know about speed boost not activating if you just switched out with Wish or something like that. Um, if I had used Bug Buzz instead of Sticky Web and killed Espeon right off the bat, it may have turned out very different as well. Wish Cacturn had gotten a little bit more, but he got a key kill killing Crustle off. Um, and again, Alomomola just tanking hits like a boss. Now, if the reason that Gujar was using Ice Beam, that Tanner was using Ice Beam, was that he was trying to get the freeze on Alomomola because he said, that's the only way I can win because it was his last Pokemon. And so he, he's not an idiot. He was just trying to freeze me, get that 10% um, freeze hex, which is crazy because I got the burn hex. He didn't get any freeze hex. I hated that. Um, that would have that really been interesting. But Ice Beam still did a decent chunk. It did kind of small health for Alomomola, but it still did more than what I expected. Now, a bunch of things would have changed out of this battle. One is if his Gudra had had Thunderbolt, Alomomola would have died like instantly. Not to mention if his um, Sylveon had been a special instead of a physical variant with Hyper Voice. I really don't think I would have won this, but because of the conditions and because of his team setup and because of my team setup and my awesome Loma Mola, I was able to get the win. And it's really weird because I don't typically like winning by stalling out, but in this case I was like, okay, I've lost everybody, this is like a YOLO swag move, and I'm going to just try and live out sustain on a Loma Mola. And Mittens showed up this battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, bit, this battle video, I'm kind of odd. But definitely a lot of fun, especially for Tanner and I, and good game, man. That was a great battle. Um, not just because I won, but because there was so much crazy stuff going on. It was, it was insane. But as always, God bless. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.